Hello. Uh, the question of today is uh, 2011 uh, May June paper 4-1 and the question number is 4. The first question states that, uh, to us to define a potential at a point. So it has been defined uh, many times. Um, uh, the answer is always the same. It is the amount of work required to uh, carry unit positive uh, charge from infinity to that uh, specified point. So uh, number 2. Number 2 says Two small spherical charged particles P and Q, so P and Q may be assumed to be point charges located at the center. So they can be assumed to be uh, point charges located here because the average position is somewhat uh, at the very, very center. The particles are in vacuum, so we need, do not need to consider any uh, medium here. Uh, particle P is fixed in position uh, by some means. Particle Q is moved along the line joining the two charges, so it is moved here and there, so that X varies. The variation with the separation x of the electric potential e energy EP, so this time it is the potential energy EP. EP of the particle Q is shown as in the in the diagram. So we have the diagram here somewhat like this. The value of EP is negative, negative, and it is in the form of uh, in terms of electron volt, not in terms of joules. And uh, as the distance goes on increasing, the magnitude of EP decreases, decreases. But if I consider the sign here, sign here, initially it is a higher negative, it is less negative, less negative, less negative. So that means the potential energy actually increases here. As x increases, the value of potential energy actually increases. So number one uh, question says, state how the magnitude of electric field strength is related to the potential gradient. So we can simply and safely say that the value of electric field strength is equal to negative of the potential gradient so you have to say it in terms of language so i'm just writing the uh, symbol here it is uh, means that the value of little field strength is e equal to negative of the potential gradient at that particular position now in the next question next question use your answer to uh, one so you, we have to use the answer here one to show that the force on the charge q is a uh, proportional to the gradient of the curve so we have to we have to uh, we have to uh, prove that the force on the particle is uh, proportional to this gradient so we have we can say f is equal to q into uh, q into e uh, it is simply the difference because from the definition of the electric field strength so this e is equal to as we have already done here it is a q then minus dv dx so it is minus q dv dx so for a particular constant charge q i must have f is proportional to dv dx so this means that uh, the force on the particle q is a proportional to the gradient of the curve now number c the magnitude of the charge on each of the particles p and q is uh, something like this so it is we have we should have q p equal to q e is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Uh, calculate the separation of the particles at a point where particle Q has a elastic uh, sorry, electric pressure energy equal to this much. So we have got a PE is equal to minus 5.1 electron volt equal to minus 5.1 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So the formula we have is we have is we have is potential energy is equal to Q P Q E divided four pi epsilon into this separation R R so which gives me R is equal to Q P Q E divided 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 four pi epsilon into 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 P E. So this is equal to QP is this, Q is this, so I must have 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 squared divided. So this 4 is equal to this whole term 1 by this much is equal to into 9 into 10 to the power 9. Then this P is equal to 5.1 into 10 to the power, uh, sorry, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So when I do the calculations, the value becomes somewhat like this. So let me use the calculator here. It is 1.6 uh, 
uh, exponent minus uh, 19 squared into 9 exponent 9 divided uh, divided 5.1 into uh, 1.6 exponent minus 1 9 so the value becomes value becomes it is uh, 2.82 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters so the separation should be equal to 2.82 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters now by reference to figure 4.2 so again we have to take reference of this uh, diagram here the graph here the graph diagram so by the reference of this diagram we have to state whether the two charges have the same or the opposite sign so since the potential energy is negative so negative pe means that pe means means that 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 that, that the product of product of product of this thing qp and qe qp and qe qe should be should be negative so negative so this is possible so possible only if possible only if only if if they they are of of opposite sign opposite sign so it means that uh, uh, because of this thing the system tries to uh, collapse or contract let us say now the next question says uh, we have to still explain the effect if any on the shape of the graph of doubling the charge on p so we have to double the charge on p so we have to double this thing if this charge is doubled what happens is what happens is by using this formula the value of p e magnitude of p e will increase here so what happens is this also increases becomes double this becomes double becomes double double and so on so let's just talk of this small portion here this doubles and becomes this four times and this is uh, about uh, 4.5 this doubles to become 9 like this so the curve will somewhat be here the curve will be somewhat like this somewhat like somewhat like somewhat like this at this region so that means uh, the value increases of course the value the measure increases and in addition to that the uh, gradient also increases the magnitude of the gradient also increases so so, so what you can see here is so by doing this we have we have uh, um uh, if if q p is doubled is a double p e also also doubles doubles so 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 the the gradient of the graph gradient also doubles also doubles everywhere everywhere so it also increases everywhere because of the values here the distance does not increase but uh, but 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 uh, the values increase everywhere so it uh, simply simply becomes the gradient simply becomes a uh, double everywhere so these are the solutions of the questions of this air